Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the 2.4 inch TFT LCD touchscreen shield for Adreno and the shield I'm using now is the cloned version, not the original one but I mean I want to show you how you can be able to debug or solve some of the major issues that you may find if you're using this kind of shield those problems mainly come from the libraries that you're going to be using because the libraries are usually made for the original versions of the shield but in this case this is the cloned version or they call it the china version so if you're having this kind of shield you may find you're going to have a number of problems with it so you need to have some knowledge of how to do some background checks in your code so that you can be able to use the shield appropriately as the shield is i use this sample yeah you see here you have the command line pins this area of the power pins and then one from D0 to D7, these are the data pins. And then we have the SD control pins. In other words, it has the SD card slot where you can be able to put a micro SD in case you have some images or any other information that you want to display on the shield. It usually comes with the, the stylus, all this kind of pen which can help you to write down or to use it for the touch function. However, something else I want to note is that these cloned versions come from different manufacturers and therefore they come in different forms. Sometimes you may find, you may buy and you try whatever you try to do all the types of corrections and not and still does not work. For example, in my case, I've had to buy over a number of them. I own like five of these and some of them totally fail to work because they're not the original ones, then others are working. But they only work after some kind of manipulation so you may find that even after you followed all the steps i've shown you here to your lcd display you have some issues especially with the inversion of text and the touch properties or that so you should take note of that i have to put a disclaimer that it's best you get an original one but if you can't afford then it's okay you can always use this one so here i'm showing you how to attach it with arduino so the shield is made to fit properly you can easily fit it properly here with arduino you can also fit on the arduino mega this is the arduino owner so it's fitting you can also work with arduino mega actually in the various examples they'll be showing you how or which pins you can be able to use so that you can fit it in the type of arduino that you have so let me now show you how you are going to use this tft lcd shield with arduino using the various libraries so before you can use this TFT LCD, you need to first install some useful libraries. In this case, you need the Adafruit GFX library, which contains most of the necessary commands and other libraries that are important for the working of this LCD. So in most cases, the first problem you're going to find when you install this LCD and you don't try this, or you want to run any program, you'll find that the LCD will give you a white screen and that's because if you have to download the Adafruit library you most probably use the latest version in most cases that version is not very compatible with the TFT LCD so the first thing you have to do is that you have to use an older version of the Adafruit library so you're going to go to sketches and then you go to manage libraries then from here you can be able to see all the libraries that you have in your IDE and then from here you filter for your search we are interested in the Adafruit GFX library so we are going to type here you type Adafruit GFX so it is this library here then you see I've used the 1.5.3 uh, so if you check here most cases you find that you are going to be having the newer versions of this library because you'll be installing the library for the first time so but for this kind of display we are using this kind of library does not work properly so what you need to do you need to first scroll down and go to the older versions most probably you use the one i've used i've used 1.5.3 like the one i've used i think that's the beta library to use so you take that you know that will be the first problem you're going to use in case you are seeing a white screen then you need to change the version of the Adafruit GFX library that you're using so after that you install the library then you can be able to check for other 
problems in case you find any we can now run some sample programs for example you go to file go to examples i look for other fruit tft lcd of course the first library you need to or the first program you are going to check out is the graphics test to see if your lcd is running so i open this one and we see so this is the graphics text or the graphics program from the other fruit gfx library and from this program here if you upload this program the way it is here still you won't say anything because you need to sp specify the kind of driver that you are using so in this case i need to make sure i show you something change this part of the code one you can comment out this part from here i'll just comment it out up to here where you see tft begin so you comment it out now you need to specify the identif identifier so in other words the identifier they are telling you to specify the kind of driver of the lcd you are using so in this case i'm using the 9341 so i'll just go here copy this and paste it here where there's the identifier you change it and you put the driver then from there you can just compile and upload the program so as you see from the display you are going to be getting various graphic displays and text to show you that your lcd is working properly so in case you get any problem then you have to first go back and observe the code and make that change otherwise that's one of the common errors that you are going to make with this kind of code and this kind this change should always be made for all the programs you are going to be getting from these examples here we can now try another example let me try the tft bpm or bmp so this kind of library is for displaying bmp images on the sd card that is attached to the tft display you need to first upload some images into your SD card and those images should be in the BMP format so this is my other code that I tried for displaying BMP images so it's very simple maybe the only parts you need to change here are here yeah, you can change the number of files for example I'm going to be showing four images that's why I have used the four then you give the name of the images here and then the rest of the code is just as it is maybe yeah, as always don't forget to change this part here where you need to change the identifier to use the driver of the LCD that you are using so you can upload this code and then you see what you are going to be getting I'll put the link in the description below to where you can be able to access this code so when this code is uploaded to the Arduino you'll be able to observe the various images that have been uploaded onto the SD card and the pictures will be moving one by one slowly by slowly the reason why they are moving slowly is because the processing power of the Arduino is rather slow if you want these pictures to move faster you may need a, a more powerful microprocessor then the last example I'm going to show you is the one which is a bit more challenging and that is the use of the touch properties because remember this is a touch screen so I want to show you the touch property now in that case I'm going to be using the T tft paint so this is our tft paint example like before we are going to first comment out this part for the identifiers so i will just comment out this part very fast then after i'm going to change this from identifier okay let's upload and see what we get so after uploading you will get a white screen meaning that the code is not working but it shows that it has been uploaded so in that case that means there is a problem with the code you are using and most probably that problem is around here in the way you have declared these pins here so for example here i have analog pin a1 a2 and then i have digital pins 7 and 6. so in most cases you need to change this part here depending on the kind of lcd that you are using so if for your lcd these pins are okay then it will work properly there's no need of changing them but in case you get a white screen then you need to change these pins for example in my case i'm going to change this from a1 I'm going to change it to a3 then I'm going to change this to I'll leave the 2 like that then I'll change the 7 to 9 and then I change the 6 to 8 let me upload again and see 
So now when you upload, you see that now the touch property is working. But again, you see that the working is not really good. In other words, you, the screen is inverted. When you write in one place, you are you write in one place that the paint is in a different place. So like, so to solve that issue, we need to go deeper into the code. We need to go to where this library is stored. So in this case, I'm going to go to where my Arduino libraries are stored. From here, we see. I've gone in documents, Arduino, then library. This is where all the libraries are stored. Then I'll look for the touch screen library, touch screen file folder. Then inside here, there are quite a number of files. So I'm going to edit this touch screen C file. So I'm going to use a simple editor like the Notepad. So what you do, look for this point here, return TS point. So we need to change make some changes around here just make this 1023 minus X and then make this 1023 minus Y then save and then you go back we upload the code and check it out and see still you observe that the, the problem is not yet solved still there is a, a problem with the alignment of the the movement of the pain and the paint that is really being shown there so in other words, not waste out of time, what you have to do is that you keep on changing these values, this value and that value. Then they will change the alignment of the pen on the touch screens. But for my case, actually it was 1105. 1105 was okay. And then I go back and upload. So now you observe that the writing is okay. So the problem has been solved now. That is the major problem that you're going to find with this LCD display when you're using the other fruit library when you're using other libraries. Hope that was a good introduction to how to use the TFT display. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my other videos, and hopefully I'll be having more projects involving this TFT LCD touchscreen display. Thanks for watching.